Well, g'day guys. Uh, it's been a couple of days um, since I started this video. Um, finished over at Port Vincent. Shortly thereafter, a few days later, received my new beach setup from Attic Tackle up at Tweed's Head. The uh, 11 foot T curve with the 4000 Stratic and I just couldn't wait. Um, it's uh, any longer, it's now Friday afternoon. I've taken a little bit of an early minute from work and headed down just to Summerton Beach um, here in the um, Metro Adelaide. Got the soft plastics, got the vibes, soft vibes, the switch prawn. Uh, we're gonna give it a go here and see how we go. Yeah, let's go. So it's not ideal conditions. Um, Wind-wise, we've got sort of a southerly, southwesterly, I guess, but uh, we're gonna give it a go. We've got the 30 gram, I think it's a 30 gram, or 10 gram maybe, I think, uh, Zeric fish trap. Um, we're gonna wait out there a little bit. We have got the longer rod, but uh, the tide's coming in. We've got a couple of hours um, before she's in fully, pretty much on sunset, which would be a good time to fish. We've kept it really light today. We've just got uh, the soft plastics bag and lures and a bucket. And we're just gonna walk out here and see how we go. As I said, that, that breeze is coming left to right. Water's not too bad, which is good. <laughs> um, just for this first cast, I'm just gonna go along this edge here, not too far out. The tide's coming in. And if there are flatties, for example, trying to get up onto the shore closer, uh, they might be just waiting where it changes from that murky colour into that lighter um, blue. So we'll just give this a flick and see how we go. Pretty much just there. This is uh, my new T-curve, 11 foot, 3 to 6 kilo. I matched up with the uh, 4000 Stratic. It is the uh, older model Stratic, given the new one has just come out. But uh, probably one of the best reels I've got nonetheless. So we've got a little bit of weed on that. Just want to put a few casts out here with this vibe just in case as i said there are some flatties just sitting sort of you know waiting uh, it'd be great if this wind would drop off a touch it's right behind me so hopefully not not an issue for you guys there just may be a flatty or two just wanting to start moving up onto these uh, sandbars here or sitting on the edge that some more weed yeah there's just little tiny bits of weed unfortunately if you can see there hopefully we're sort of just out into that darker blue stuff now just winding up the slack just giving it a vibe obviously we've got some s factor on the vibe yeah, see, i think we've got some weed on oh hang on we might have a small fish to be on oh no a bit of weed if we keep getting lots of weed probably just going to move to a soft plastic with a uh, a weedless soft plastic setup i mean you could cast this all day long barely feels like i'm you know holding anything just to combat some of the the weed issues we've moved over to the um, z-man mud minnows paddle tail with a quarter ounce uh demon head uh, headlocks i think it's a 1-0 hook we're going to be able to slow retrieve that. We're going to be able to hop that along. Um, lots of things could take that. A salmon could take that. A flathead could take that. Um, possibly even a Tommy, reasonable sized Tommy might take that. Uh, let's give it a go and see if we can hook something up. So I'm getting some tiny bites. I think they must be like tiny whiting or mullet. Just as we get close in here. I mean, it could be a tiny little flatty. Probably now that I've turned the GoPro on, I won't be able to replicate, but literally my, my lure was just there or coming into there and, and I was getting some tiny, tiny, tiny bites. I'm not using any burley today. That could be a, that, that could be a improvement for next time. We'll see how we go. We've only tried the two lures. We've got plenty more to, to give a go. As I said, we've got uh, a few hours still for the high tide where we can move back and actually be casting over these sandbars rather than standing on them. See if we get those little bites again, if you can, potentially see them what what i'm happy about is that i can feel those really tiny bites oh that's a bigger bite big tap tap that's very interesting it could be a flatty it could be a little flatty and he's just taking the back half of the the plastic just going to give it some time to sink and because they're reasonable bites we're not really here for the small stuff we'd like to catch a good you know 30 40 centimeter flatty 
we'd like to get a nice salmon or free but it's uh, comforting to know that there is you know some action some life out here and that it might just be starting to wake up as this tide comes in yeah, again beautiful cast right where we wanted it sort of got to keep an eye to the waves and an eye on the rod and an eye on the gear on the beach and if we don't really get much more on this paddle tail minnows I think it is worthwhile to change over maybe to a curly tail so we'll go and do that now what you got to do make sure you don't end up with your reel in the bloody sand just putting the handle down like that and just putting the eye there on the bucket so if it wants to, with the wind going that way if it wants to go it's being held up there I guess the only other thing we haven't tried maybe we'll try that first is a switch plate a uh, switch prawn haven't actually tried this one yet it's called the yeah the nightmare we might try that first get out there do some uh, vibing with the blade it does have a lot smaller hooks on it so again guys I've talked about these clips before but changing out the clips are really easy just those mustard fast hatch hooks they just uh, twirl him around he's off I do find the S factor lures squid jigs whatever get it on there 14 bucks roughly tube laughs forever just gonna get some on the hooks as well all right let's go do it let's catch some fish all right we're back out just to where we were so you may not be able to see it with the uh, lens that we've got on the sandbar drops off here hence the waves are starting to produce here so we again we just want to cast with the wind it's a fairly light um i think it's a 15 gram blade or oh, a uh, metal vibe but it casts like a bullet that's pretty cool be interesting to see if we get these other little fish that we're showing a bit of interest on the minnows on the mud minnows oh oh good bite there that was a really good bite mm, very interesting bit of weed well not much action on the tt switch prawn plus better try something else eh all right guys we finally got something on the slippery dog a little salmon not legal oh he might just be legal well what i can say is this slippery dog uh i'm just gonna let him swim for a bit he's not going anywhere but that's the first catch on the new t-curve shimano 4000 pretty happy um again let's put this all down so we don't get in the sand put the eye there he's still kicking really well which is great gave him a good swim get our pliers out so his hooks uh those uh, teaser hooks cook, cooked him on the on the body in the back grab him here and get this treble out these pliers want to work should have bought my baiting uh, my wading bag with me today but i didn't yeah no he's not legal he's just on 21 so he can go back like a good little fishy so i've just got the pliers tied up under my chin on my hat strap I'm not too stressed if they fall off and i lose them they're just El cheapo from amazon let's get this slippery dog back out there this is the 80 mil slippery dog see if we can hook up a few larger larger salmon just trying to find a spot where i'm not going to get sort of hit with waves all the time i feel like this is the highest part of the uh, sand bank so i'm trying to stay here obviously the waves will break through here so i need to keep an eye on it but also you know i need to get that lure out there if i had a metal lure i'd be probably using a 30 gram slug rather than this uh, oh god i don't know feels like it's a 10 gram or smaller great to get a top water hit for you guys haven't had any other interest except for that first one he must have swum back and told all his mates don't go for that top water lure it's not what you think g'day guys so i just went through that footage um, of me down at summerton beach and i realized i didn't really um, go through the rod as much as uh, i was like, so excited to get out there and use it so i just wanted to show you the rod so it's a um it's a beautiful rod uh, from the butt, the uh, the woven the woven handle, 
uh, Fuji uh, reel seats, obviously Fuji um, eyes, etc. It's a two piece rod, so it's 11 foot, three to six kilos. And you can see, hopefully, out the back there that it is uh, you know, fairly long. It's a light rod, so it's really for our bread and butter surf beach fishing uh, here in South Australia. So I'm talking, you know, whiting, flathead, brim, mullet, um, salmon trout, etc. As you might have seen when I just showed it to you, I've paired it up with the Stratic FL, which is the last of the uh, the old model with the FM just coming in this past few months. It's the 4000 Stratic 12 pound white Tasline braid and then 12 pound Osha F leader. Um, what I really love about this rod is just uh, set up uh, is just really how, uh, how well balanced it is. Um, it's uh, so light, I, I've actually just come back from the session, which you'll see on a video shortly, uh, where I, I took two of my surf rods, this lighter one, and then my, not so surf rod, my nine foot general purpose, um, off the rocks at Point Riley. And, um, you know, you can literally cast this all day. So if you're looking for a, a good quality, light finesse, I guess, surf rod, I can't go past the T-curve in this setup with the 4000 Stratic. Uh, thanks for your support. Uh, keep watching. I hope that was uh, some useful info for you if you're looking uh, at the new T-curve.